Hi, good morning everyone. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, this um, Race Star 2205 motors. They're pretty awesome, so stay tuned to the video. Couple of considerations that I would like you to know before buying those. Good, so as I was mentioning before, these are the Race Star 2205. They're pretty awesome. They do come with two different configurations they um so this one is going to be the counterclockwise uh and this one is going to be the clockwise uh, you can definitely notice that by the screw it's in a different color so it's it's kind of sincerely it doesn't really make the, the difference between one and the other it's just to make uh to to have everything set up so that you know which motor should be uh, running in which direction actually this one can go into the other direction if you just swap uh, two of those cables so it shouldn't really matter but it's just something and actually i have been using that just for one day and it's driving me crazy <laughs> this screw uh, just going the other way around is driving me crazy i think i will be needing to uh, get used to that so one thing actually um, the power of those motors is really really good actually i really got surprised on on the thrust of those motors and i'm going to be showing you how i'm measuring thr the thrust but a couple of things that i would like you to know first of all the screw here whoops i'm not really sure if you can notice that but this is nylon so it's kind of a plastic so it's something to take into consideration. The thing is that it's only going to go until one point. And from that point on, I wouldn't put much pressure there uh, unless you want to break that. So it's just something to take into consideration there. So another thing to take into consideration is the height of the screw. So actually, if you just put the propeller like this, you see there is like a lot of space here and if I put the screw here, which is going on the opposite direction here and it's driving me crazy, uh, you will see that this can st still move and the motor is not moving. So what you will be needing to do is uh, put something, put a spacer here between that so that the, there is some pressure on the propeller. Not really a problem, but it's just something to take into consideration. Actually, what I'm doing, trying to do here is just changing those motors. Those motors are 1000 kV uh, and, and these brand new motors uh, I should, should be running twice the speed. Um, the only concern that I may have is if they are running twice the speed, obviously they are going to be uh, pulling twice the air so it's going to increase the, the the current that it's going through the motors so the question is is that going to so are the ESCs going to be able to take that increase on the current uh, is the battery also going to be able to take that increase on the battery so uh, we actually did some testing so I'm not going to go through, through the whole testing part. I'm just going to tell you how I did that and eventually I will put the results. There are a lot of videos on the internet that, that are testing the thrust on those motors. So I will just, um, I, I just wanted to do something different, something like more practical on what you need to take into account. Um, and obviously I will put the results and also how I did the testing. Um, another thing to take into consideration those ones are really slow, those ones are much quicker, so you should be better, but the thing is that, as you can see, the height is not the, is not the same, so if you put it like this here, chances are that the propeller is going to touch something. But let's start reviewing them a little bit more in depth, let's go into the weight. So we have here our scale, like always. I'm not really sure if you can see that. Let me just one second. Yeah, there we go, it's zero. So this is 32 grams. Actually, I plug in already like the ballet, connect, um, ballet connections. If you want to get rid of maybe those two 
two extra grams you just you can just take them out and that should be uh, much better for you so let's compare them with the other ones that I used to have 55 Whew. so that is going to be a huge decrease on the weight and let, let me explain you so this so I'm going to show you now the different results that I got for the thrust test and let me explain you how I did that so in order to test the thrust what I did it's pretty simple I do not have one of those machines that uh, are designed to measure the thrust but instead I use it like this so just pull uh, the propeller spirit facing the other way around so that the air can go up and it's making a th like a, th a thrust go down and then you put it here and just just simple ESC and then also the um, the radio and the, the only thing you need to take into this consideration with this setup is a couple of things so first of all you need to put the scale to zero at this point not really sure if you can see that but it should be zero So you need to put the scale to zero at this point, so that it's only measuring the thrust and it's not measuring the weight of this little boy here. And as soon as it starts spinning, maybe on this, mm, let me just one second, yeah, on this direction. So that's going to be counterclockwise. The base is going to start rotating in the opposite direction. So you will need to put like maybe some cello tape over here so that it stops spinning. But that should be it. It's really, really simple, not really complicated. And actually, I tried with some different propellers. Um, I will let you know the, the results here. Also, another thing that I almost forget to mention is that I did some testing. So I mainly pulled this motor up like this, uh, put the propeller here, and then put it through a uh, full throttle. And it was kind of interesting because like when I was at like a 90% 90, 90 of the throttle, it was running smooth, not a problem at all. But when I had like 100% of the throttle, you can definitely notice some vibrations here. It's like, it's not really like a, a huge problem, uh, but it's just something to take into consideration. Actually, I don't think I'm ever going to be using them at full throttle, especially because I use one of those at half throttle and it was already pulling like uh, 250 grams which is much more than what I need to fly this guy here uh, but it's just something to take into consideration so if you go through full throttle then you may experience some vibration here using a 3S so that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you here today um, hope this was useful um, it's just a different overview on how those those work thank you for watching and have a great day.